hi everyone welcome back in today's video you will learn how to wire the s7200 plc we will also make a simple ladder program and download it into the plc to test it let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. This is the S7200 PLC. Voltage supplied to this PLC is AC and is between 110 to 230 volts. Looking closely to the terminals, these two terminals are the power supply terminals of this PLC. It has 9 digital outputs and 14 digital inputs located right at the base of this PLC. We have the port for programming and then we have the status LED, run stop and then system fault. Okay, so if you flip this part open, we have the selector switch to run the PLC, terminate and then stop the PLC. When the PLC is in use, it's always in the run mode. In order to upload or download PLC program, we will use the S7 MicroWin software and then the PPI communication cable to communicate between the PC and then the PLC. First, let's connect the power supply to this particular unit. Okay, we pick it up and then connect the neutral point first tighten it up and then connect the live wire okay this is the programming adapter known as the ppi adapter we connect this particular point to the programming port and then screw it in position we now insert this point to the laptop now with everything ready let's move on and open our software i go to the desktop and double click on the icon we have our software opened and then i go to communication under communication double click on communication again and then we have the interface we need to confirm the com port where our programmer is connected i go to start my computer manager and then device manager I move to COM port and then we can see that the COM port is not active. I take the programmer off and then reslot it again. And then we can see that it has appeared at COM3. It's confirmed now. I go to set PGPC interface. I click on properties and then click on the COM communication and then confirm the COM port. It's on COM3. I click OK. And then OK again. And now click refresh this particular point to search for the PLC. PLC is identified now. I click on OK. And now we can see we have upload and then download. Upload means you want to read from the PLC, and then download means you want to write to the PLC. Okay, I click on the upload and click on no now i click on upload to read the program from the plc we can see that this is the old program in the plc now let's move to network 6 and then add a simple program to test the plc so i click on the normally open contact and then label it i0.0 .0 so that whenever 0.0, .0 is activated the output q0.7 will come on so i give it address q0.7 and then i click on the download now observe the activity on the ppi adapter i click ok and we can see that downloading is ongoing it's done
okay so before we do our testing let's look at our wiring quickly this is the wiring diagram of our plc and at the top side we see our power supply and then we can see that our output is relay based output so it can take power supply ranging between ac volt power supply and then dc and when we look at our input we can see that we need to apply negative volts at 1m and then 2m and we can take this source voltage from our internal power supply which is labeled as the sensor power supply m and then positive l which is 24 volt supply internally from the system okay so we will move on and then do this physical wiring on our plc okay so i grab a wire connect it to m from the internal power supply and then connect it to 1m and now restart the plc remember whenever you download the plc will move to stop mode okay plc is in run mode now and now connect this wire and then i will use it as a test for a push button so when i send 24 volts to the input we can see that the output is on i've taken it off and then i apply it again you can see that it has come on but i cannot hold on so let's add a bit of hold on to our program and see whether the output will be able to hold on when the input is activated okay i add a branch and then add a contact i close the the branch delete the side and then add a straight connection so here is going to be i0.0 and then here is going to be our output which is q0.7 for hold on i click on download okay i have this window i click on download and said okay okay downloading ongoing downloading is done and now let's test it i now need to bring the switch to stop mode and then back to run mode again plc is in run mode i sent 24 volts to the input we can see that the output is on and then it's latched working perfectly here are some few tips about this plc the stop led is always yellow when the system is in stop mode and whenever you download a plc program the plc will move into stop mode and you need to restart it by using the selector switch or you can do it from the software interface the run led will always show green whenever the program within the plc is being executed the sf led which is a system fault led will always be red whenever you have system fault or errors within your program viewers this brings us to the end of this video please consider giving this video a thumbs up anytime you hit the like button you help us grow this channel Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.